this one, number five, is to me personally the most important one and it's the, just the biggest failure of the dashboards that, that we have seen uh, not showing the variances. All right, this is so, so important, just skipping the, the variances, not showing the variances or uh, presenting um, comparisons in such different ways. The sales dashboard, there's absolutely no comparison to plan here. There's no plan in this dashboard uh, and there's no comparison to previous years. So if I see some kind of a trend here, you know, all right, I, I see some seasonality, but is this good or is this bad? I have no idea. I mean, if, 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 it's, it's, if it's higher than previous year, then it's probably good, but if it's lower than the plan, then it's probably not, not good, right? So uh, this one completely, so this dashboard has absolutely no comparison or anything that would help me understand is this good or bad, okay? Uh, then next attempt, which actually has uh, some kind of a comparison here. I have some forecast, I have some baseline cost, actual cost, right? But, but they are displayed in different, completely separate charts. So there's a separation here, you know, the actuals, oh, sorry, this is a cruel. So this is actual cost, right? So the actuals are here and you know, the, the, the baseline cost is somewhere else and the forecast is somewhere else. So it's really hard for me now to compare all those data categories, especially because they are in a, um, in a pie chart. Now this one is a comparison between sales and sales, either prior sales. So the previous year or target, which you can um, kind of, uh, which the user can, can, can change. So it's a, it's a nice concept, but it fails in the visualization because, um, and this is what typically people do when they compare actuals to budget or actuals to previous year, they just put, put them into a side by side chart. Okay. And now this means that I will always, no matter what the situation is, I will always see a lot of, uh, blue color and a lot of yellow color right but what i'm actually interested in is this gap here this gap this is the difference this is the variance so this this is important here uh, to be able to present those variances in a better in a better way okay so people are trying different things uh one way is to use the traffic lights uh, the traffic lights, all right, you get the red and green uh, and maybe also the yellow, all right? But this is problematic. This is very problematic, actually, because you will always end up with a lot of red and green and a lot of yellow bubbles. Everywhere you'll have those bubbles. And then there's a problem, you know, which one is really important now? Because, you know, if you have a simple rule that if it's above the budget, it's green. If it's below the budget, it's, it's uh, below the plan, it's, it's red. Okay, then it can be like half of percent or just a few euros or dollars <laughs> below, the, the, below the plan and it will already be, be um, completely red. So you don't have the size of the variance. If you switch this and you use the red bar here, you know, then you have the size of it, the importance of it. Some of them will be long, some of them not, and the green one also like here. So then you understand it. So that's much better. Do not use those speedometers, right? These are completely overused. The problem of those is that it just, they take so much space uh, for just one number or one simple comparison. So this one, instead of this one, this would be a little bit better, but still it takes uh, uh, it still it takes uh, a lot of a lot of space. But at least it's it's more clear and so on. The problem again here with this visualization is it does not visualize the gap. I always see this amount of of green color. But in my case here, 200K was my plan and I'm below it. This should guide my attention. And this is the same problem with the uh, so-called bullet charts, right? You always have this red background and yellow background and green background. And it's, you know, where's my data? Where's the gap? I have no idea. The problem here is that the whole visual will be green or the whole visual will be red. And even the chart, which is behind. So for example, this is like sales amount and it's accumulated. So this would be year to date. So you see, you will always have this, this diagonal um, green chart, right? But the problem is if, if this is uh, sales versus target here, you know, there's the target is somewhere, somewhere here, but I don't see it and I don't see the gap. Only the difference should be, should be colored. Okay.